Hello everyone and welcome to 5 uses in Minecraft. In this video we're going to take a look at the target block and 5 of the most useful things about it. We are here in 1.16, the nether update, and there are a lot of pigmen over here. Also they're piglins, zombified piglins. Let's have a look around, this place looks really really cool now. Uh, now I'm on my strider here. Um, so they've added a whole load of new blocks, but one of the more um, strange or like peculiar blocks that they added in was the target block. I mean, look over here we have blackstone, um, the bastion. We have crying obsidian, which um, is also something that makes sense. It's something to do with the nether, but the target block is a block that what well, seems like a really strange addition to put in the nether update. Um, so how can we use it? So I'm on one of my testing worlds, uh, I've got a target block, so one of the cool things about this new block is that depending on where you fire on the target, uh, it gives a different redstone output. So th I thought this could be really useful in making some redstone contraptions, so let's have a look at some of the builds. I thought I'd give a quick demo about how the target block actually works and, well, to give you an idea of how we can use this block. So let's shoot on the outside of the block, see it gives a weaker redstone signal so it turns on only one of the lamps then in the middle it gives a stronger redstone signal turning on most of the lamps so let's try and turn, get it to the maximum amount of lamps turned on yeah, as you saw there it lit up most of the lamps so I'm trying to think of how can we use this mobs are really annoying so I thought we could use the target block as a way of preparing for our next encounter with a mob. So, as you can see here, if we shoot at the edge of the target block and miss the skeleton skull, it will not be dead. It's well, we've missed it. Oh, let's just turn that around. Now, if we aim it right in the middle and hit it in the head, it is dead, and we know that we are ready for our next battle. So, with this next one, we have quite a few target blocks and a piston door in the middle. So someone will come over into your base and be like, how do I open this door? So they might, if they have a bow, try shooting at the target blocks um, to see if anything happens. But these target blocks won't actually do anything. Uh, you can try a few over there as well. But now the owner can come into the base, um, they know which target's the right one, they shoot at it, they can come past the door. And it's really um, not that complicated, the uh, redstone behind it. So there's just a line running out of target block that goes and powers the uh, pistons. This next one's a bit weird. Um, so we have a flying machine, a um, redstone clock over here. Um, if we put some arrows into the dispenser, they'll start being fired out. Oh, come on, come on, hit the target block. Okay, there we go. And that will power the flying machine, meaning you can program how far you want the flying machine to move. This next door will probably be used by someone who is really good with a bow, probably not me, but let's try and use it. So you have to get a perfect bullseye to be able to open this piston door. So let me just try, that looks pretty good. No, still no. Okay, let's try firing it in the middle. Right in the No? Okay, come on. Right there. Come on. Why do I suck so much with a bow? Come on. Okay, there we go. You know what? It, it works. It works. It's fun. The target block, I think, really shines. Really useful um, in mini games such as this parkour course we have set up here. So someone needs to shoot right in the middle of the target block, and they'll get thrown up, and they need to land on the platform. But because I'm bad at parkour as well, I can't do that. Let's try that again. Jump up here. Just miss this slime. Uh, now shoot right in the middle there, and there we go. Now that, that that's cool. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. We will be making more videos like this, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Just rewatching now, I realized I say the word so way too much. Anyway. Guys, please leave a comment on some block from Minecraft that you'd like to see five uses for, and I'll see you in the next one.